I think that this summit has a very interesting characteristic, which is uh, that the participants are from very, very diverse backgrounds. So in some sense, uh, it's a learning experience and education experience for all of us. So from actually having the government people, the academia, all the companies, and all trying to talk about this, ta this theme of AI for good, uh, has been very interesting, at least for me, to listen to these different you know, ways of interpreting and working towards this goal. So in that sense, Joy Deep is us with his localization PhD thesis, and then Brian Colton with his scheduling of tasks, and Stephanie Rosenthal as a PhD student with the, the PhD thesis on interacting with humans and the symbiotic autonomy and asking for help, kind of show demonstrate the, advance of the advancement of science while also generating some engineering to get the, the actual robot uh, uh, existing and present in our environments. Yeah, so definitely, you know, robots in some sense uh, provide a different type of help than really just the knowledge that a cell phone or a laptop or an assistant, a digital assistant may provide. Now, you have to go beyond thinking about just a digital assistant, which will be fantastic for doctors, for professors, for everything, and go beyond to this uh, physical assistant, an assistant that moves in the physical space, that is capable of going to check something for you. So it's now the ability to have these mobile robots, and maybe we have to create more of tasks that they can help us with that can actually uh, achieve other types of tasks. So it is, it is definitely knowledge tasks. Can you check these vitals somewhere? But also, uh, really, the, physicals, the, 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 the physical tasks. Mm -hmm. Transport these, uh, bring me that, uh, go and take this person there, uh, take care of these while I go somewhere, or carry these to that place while I go somewhere else, or bring me the ref go and get me the referral while I wait here or I'm really tired, get me a cup of, like, uh, a cup of water. So all these, ca these assistants that is at uh, physical space and physical level and not just the knowledge itself. The humans have to make use of this good technology, this technology, make good uses, but you know, this technology, AI and robots and learning and all sorts of, like, uh, technology for data uh, processing and learning did not come did not fall from the sky. I mean, it's not something that was given to us. It was invented by humans. It was invented by us. So in some sense, we as inventors, of course, uh, need to be careful about the bad uses, but we are trying to make good uses of this technology. And I do believe that these types of meetings and uh, exposing the scientists to the governments, to the industries, to the, com to the social needs, um, makes people be more informed of all these uh, multiple aspects of the discoveries that people do and the development. So in some sense, uh, it's, a, it's a world that needs this interdisciplinarity to eventually move forward towards having AI for good. I really think that uh, the AI researchers are eager, in some sense, to engage with a variety of different people, from the social sciences all the way to the actual uh, technical people that know how to build code and machines. We, I think we, we are very aware of that. But the thing that I think it's more interesting is that um, AI became so um, present in our lives, I mean, the recommendations on Amazon and Alexa, Alexa talking with you and all sorts of like uh, uh, data we produce, that people are becoming more and more unaware that um, AI has to do with uh, these data. And so the more people get attached and interested on data, 
the more they eventually they will be able to collaborate with AI, with AI researchers and the more they get engaged with AI. Because if you really have a Fitbit, suppose, and you really start wondering, oh, I wonder what was the average that uh, number of steps I took over the last n times? Or what is the prediction if I would go down this road versus that road? What would be better for my health? And all of these, you start entering thinking AI. You are thinking about some kind of artifact that would be intelligent in terms of answering these complex questions that involve using the data, reasoning about objectives, and eventually making counterfactuals, alternative searches. And so, so it's more of like almost everybody through these data is getting ready uh, if you delve into thinking how much you would actually want to know from the data that's collected, is getting ready to collaborate with AI researchers on uh, these problems that you would like to learn how to solve. 